Hey guys, welcome back. Bolt Spider here, and today we have an opening for you guys. And it is two boxes of Maze of Memory. It's amazing that this set is definitely a contender for one of the weakest sets of the whole entire year. Um, but it does have some great reprints in it, like Baron de Fleur and also Guardian Chimera, which in my opinion definitely needed the reprint when we just got them for sure. Other good cards in the set are a Cell Synchro, Stardust Dragon, the reprint of Windup Kitten. Kind of late though on that behalf, it should have been in Battle Legends Crystal Revenge, along with the brand new Gate Guardian support. But also, we have some cool imports in here that I cannot wait to see for myself as I am looking for quite a few of them. Now, people say, oh, why don't you just get the singles? I like to support my local OTS stores, even especially the one that definitely just opened up not too long ago, maybe about a year ago. Hyperion Games, they are a bunch of friendly people and I really, and I've known them for quite some time, even before they started up their game store which has been gaining a lot of traction recently so let's get into it and let's see what we can pull now let me move some cards out of the way because there's quite a bit of cards on my desk because i am bad at this whole desk management thing but let's take a look at what's inside of maze of memories so time to stand up is a brand new red dragon archfiends card or a reprint to a Red Dragon's Archfiend card. And this is going to work great with the brand new Jack Atlas structure deck coming out later this year. Overload Fusion. And oh, that quality control is not that good. That is a bend. Overload Fusion. We have Gate Guardian combined. This is the brand new Fusion Monster for the Gate Guardians. And it is a very good card. It's a triple negate along with um being a level 12 fusion that can easily replace itself with normal gate guardian that is a level 11 or lower gate guardian monster from your extra deck or main deck we have blackwing Kalute, angel of blue tears which is a brand new card rika petal a very good reprint and royal decree very good against trap tricks and along against labyrinth so that's a very good reprint as I have, we have Prey of the Gyragumo, Gyragumo, a normal trap. When you activate it, it puts itself in the main monster zone, and it has very big attack, but also you can banish it to add a uh, Side God of the Thunder, Kaizen, or Suijin that is banished or in your deck to your hand so it is a peace searcher we have super soldier ritual to go with the new blacklist of soldier ritual monster and we have gate guardian of thunder and wind another great piece um we have saga of the thunder a red moon chaos form and cost down so we have two of the four fusion monsters and one of the new Bells and traps. We have Suijin, a good reprint. Time to stand up. Solemn Judgment, a very, very good reprint because this was actually hitting up to eight to nine dollars a copy. So that's very great to see. Elf and the Raven, Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. The new cards for this Gate Guardian are manga sketches from way back when. And also pulling Labyrinth Wall Shadow. These two are very good cards because this searches out labyrinth a labyrinth wall card from your deck to your hand and this is not a hard once per turn to get a one of your pieces to the field in the spell and trap card zone so that's very good and we also have soul of the supreme king very very good card to turbo out zark which is nice that we could turbo out zark once again we have Red Eyes Soul, one of my anticipated cards of the set, and in my opinion, it's a very good card that helps out Red Eyes for sure. We have 
Yellow Star, and we have Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. We have four of the five, actually three of the four fusions. Meg Knight Blue Sky, I'm going to talk about real quick, and we have Battle Royale mode joining. This was reprinted in the Structure Deck for the Trap Tricks, and this is getting a reprint as a rare in this set. Konami, this could have been something else like a Purple Nightfall or a Indigo Eclipse. Just saying that right there. I feel like sometimes uh, for the product team, they are definitely in this different rooms, so some things happen. We have Ryoku Guardian. This is a interesting card. It's a retrain of Ryoku, but also it banishes it. You can banish it from the graveyard. You add one of your pieces to from your deck to your hand that is banished. So more recycling to get your pieces back. Kalut. We have a. I am not saying that name because this is a reference to Arc 5. We have a Teardrop of the Rika Queen. This is actually a very wonderful reprint because this was a short print that took three years to get reprinted. <laughs> kind of sad. Forced a new future and we have Performer Pal Duelist Extraordinaire. Very, very, very good card for your Performer Pal decks and Pendulum decks alike. We have another Prey of the Gyrogumo, Photon Orbital, which also comes in Collector Rare. Speaking about another card that comes in Collector Rare, number 39, Utopia Rising. This is a good card for your Utopia deck, so keep an eye out for that. We have Rika, um, Mudan, the Rika Fairy, very good reprint. Ancient Fairy Dragon is now legal starting on the 10th this Friday, so expect a lot of Synchro decks. Blackwing Zephyr, Zephyr of Seelies, and Nimble Angler, very good reprint. I'm actually going to need a couple of those. So far, this box has been pretty good. Very good box. Outside of one damaged rare. But that is fine. This creepy little punk, one of the weirdest names in Yu-Gi-Oh! Treasure's Trap Hole. I think as of this set, all the trap holes have gotten reprinted. Uh, Labyrinth Heavy Tank. Very good super rare for the Gate Guardian deck. We also have Saga of the Dragon Emperor. This is the battle between um, number C107 and number 62 Prime Photon. Burial from a different dimension, always good to see that. Deep Dark Trap Hole and a Mech Knight of Red Moon. Uh, Kaizijin, we have all three pieces now. We have Imperial Iron Wall, very good against Kashira. Overlay Network, this is actually one of the best spell cards in... Utopia now. We have Double Attack Wind and Thunder, one of their new spells for Gate Guardian, along with Labyrinth Wall. Very nice is that. Another Saga out of the Thunder and a Mech Knight of Blue. With this set, Mech Knights do get a little cheaper, which is good. And we have Gate Guardian himself. Time to stand up. Super Ancient Deep Sea King Colikent. This is the first reprint. It was only printed in Phantom Darkness. I believe, or Blade of Destruction, one of the two sets, but this is a very good reprint, and it also helps out Goatee as well. Another Shadow of Zephyros is always a good reprint to have. Angel of Blue Tears, very, very interesting card as it targets a face-up monster on the field. Its controller's opponent takes control of that, of the number, or takes damage equal to the number of cards in their hand times 200. So, first turn, you can burn for a thousand. And also, I believe it sets a normal trap card from your hand or deck if you take damage. Except during the damage step. So, if you take burn damage, you could set a spell or trap card by, I believe, banishing it from your graveyard. So, Angel of Blue Tier is one of those interestingly good cards. And we have On Your Marks. Get set duel. This is also comes in another collector rare, another ancient fairy dragon. Pretty nice to have. Another extraordinaire and another another nimble angler. Very happy that this got a reprint, as it was from Abyss Rising, I believe. Red Eyes Soul, very good. Kazajin. We have Mech Knight Crusadia Avermac Super Rare. Very very good reprint. And I think I'm gonna start speeding up through the rares because we've seen all the rares and we have a whole other box to do. Treasure Shrap Hole. We have Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. 
So, in my opinion, this is a good set to get singles. And we have a Guardian Chimera. That is very nice. Now, I play Branded Despia already, so I have the Secret Rares. But it's always great to have that. One of the cards I'm definitely looking forward to is pulling either Barone de Fleur or maybe a Acel Synchro. Because Acel Synchro is very, very good to have. Since that creates a lot of cool plays post Battle Legends Monstrous Revenge with Assault Synchron. So there is quite a bit of good um, synergy that's going to happen in the future. But Monstrous Revenge is going to be a crazy set with 52 new cards, imports, and all. And I'm definitely going to open up a few boxes for that, uh, for the channel. Yellow, we have Evolution End Burst. This is a card for Overload Fusion and Cyber Dragons as a whole because this is a Overload Fusion Searcher. And if you fusion summon a monster uh, this turn with Overload Fusion using six or more monsters as a material, that monster can attack a number of times equal each battle phase this turn up to the number of monsters used as a fusion material for the rest of this turn. It's a very strong card, so if you use 12 monsters, you can attack 12 times. And I think you can only attack with that monster, but that's fine for Cyber Dragon. Next up, we have a Spellbook of Fate. I wish this was a Spellbook of Judgment, but they might be holding that off for Monstrous Revenge. As Judgment just went down went up to one not so long ago so there's that and we have water and thunder i think we got all the fusions now and i'm just missing one red eye soul as you can see i'm keeping cards i need up here after that we have a firewall dragon dark fluid neo tempest terra hurts this is the new upgrade to Firewall Dragon being a Link 5. We now have three Link 5 Firewall Dragons. And we're going to be getting another one in Cyberstorm Access. So I can't wait to see what people do with that. As, in my opinion, Cybers is going to get scary once the next set comes out, along with Branded. We have another On Your Marks. And let's see the last two packs of this box. We have a Psy Beast, kind of very late on that. That This could have been in an OTS pack, so people would have them as a super or a common. And same for Wind Up Kitten, it could have been a super or a common. And we have an Aziel, the Sylvan High Protector. That's actually a very good rank 8. It helps out Dark Worlds, in a sense. As well, it... It excavates the card, top card of your deck. It can also be used in any other rank 8 deck. So there is that. But we're on the second and final box of this set. Now, what do I hope we pull? I hope we do get a Starlight Rare. Because it would... I mean, it's Collector Rare. Because usually with my track record, I do get a star or Collector Rare. Once in a while... I have a amazing Defender box that I still need to upload that's probably out by the time this video comes out. And I should probably be checking for Red Eye Soul because I do need one more of that. We have an, another Evolution Burst. Rika Petal. I really like Rika Petal as a card because it helps plant decks. But also having a couple other of the pieces reprinted is very helpful since so Pete pedal actually all the cards that they reprinted outside of one in here was short printed and we have another terahertz terahertz it's a fine card it's definitely a good one of Kazajin, another water and thunder i definitely want to tinker around with the gate guardian deck 
because it seems very interesting and Sujin being an aqua definitely puts it on the map for a tier limit strategy that I've seen a few people running but I do see other people running a synchro strategy which I do like. Side beast, I actually don't have any side beasts so this is actually a very good way to get side beasts. After that we have a Azeal. I'm fine with that. Now let's see here. We have a gate guarding combination. I think that's two of every fusion now. Which I'm happy about. We have a gate guardian wind and thunder. Thunder and wind. Sorry about that. Another solemn judgment. I will have extra solemn judgments for days. One thing I would recommend Konami doing for this set is making... Ooh, we have a Baron de Fleur. Oh, that's so beautiful of a card. Really beautiful of a card. So, out of that, we got all three of the cards that are on the box. One of the things that I do wish Konami would have done was all the new cards would have a hollow instead of giving stuff like Avermax a super rare or Psy Beast or Wind Up Kitten. Speaking of Psy Beast, because it would make quite a bit some of these newer cards more of a shine to it. Like this would have been cool as a super rare in my opinion. Or even bumping up Labyrinth Wall to a super rare. Would have been funny. We have a Spellbook of Fate. That's our third Spellbook of Fate. We only have about seven packs left. And we have a Gate Guardian. When a Water and Thunder. After that, we have a overlay network. I'm, I'm fine with that because Utopia is very interesting of a deck. Uh, we have Super Ancient Deep Sea Colacanth. Really broken card, actually, when I think about it. What can we get for our last Ultra Rare? Another Guardian Chimera. Oh, what? Well, two Guardian Chimeras, two Terra Hertz, a Teardrop, and a Barone. I don't think I can ask much more of that. Another Wind and Water. We have the lovely Utopia Rising. And finally, for the last pack, we have a On Your Marks Get Set Duel. But I hope you guys did enjoy this box opening, and I sure did. Because we got a Baron de Fleur, we have two Terahertz, two Guardian Chimera, and a Teardrop. This will come in handy because it is a generic rank 8. But anyways, I have been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video, and goodbye.